Hello First Baptist family, this is Deborah Pinnell and today I am going to be bringing you a word of encouragement from the book of Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. So do not fear for I am with you. You do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I first use this scripture um, in my message that I shared on Ladies' Day when I gave a testimony and my t message, uh, the message was titled, Fear Not. And at the time, my biggest fear was just public speaking. But since then, this verse has come up time and time again over the past few months with all the new fears that have been added to my life. Uh, pandemic, <laughs> who knew? Uh, isolation, uh, public distancing, social distancing, I should say, and food in the grocery stores, the prices and the lack of, and toilet paper. <laughs> and where would you find it? And just so much unknown, like things that we've never experienced before and everybody feeling the same thing at once. Um, nobody really knowing how to handle it or what to do or what was gonna happen next and the economy taking a hit and then in the midst of all of that, the public outcry with the social justice and the race relations and the riots and the protest and just a lot of turmoil and a lot of fearful things. We have every right to be afraid because we don't know what's going to happen next. We don't know how to handle this. We don't know how to overcome all the things that are going on in the world. We want to, like, in our hearts, we want to fix things. We want to make it right. We want to get back to normal. <laughs> so many people would just love to go back to things as the way they were not that very long ago. Even JD, the first time he went back to church, he said, I miss the good old days. <laughs> Don't we all miss the good old days? And this scripture just reminds me what God spoke to my heart back in February. It's the same thing that he's speaking to my heart throughout all of this. And that is, do not fear. I am with you. Do not be dismayed. I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God has the whole world in his hands. All these things that are new to us and are cause us fear, nothing is new to him. Nothing is beyond his control. Nothing is too great or too big or too scary for him. And we have a father who holds our hand when we're afraid, who speaks life to our souls through his words when we are overwhelmed we have a safe place to go into his arms um, when we're weak he is strong and when the world seems out of control if you walk outside and hear the birds chirping or you hear the wind blowing through the trees or see a dragonfly or just the blue skies, the clouds floating. The world's still right. 
when you're outdoors and when the TV's off and the social media's off and there's just quiet. There's just you and there's just God and there's just His Word. Those are the times that we are made strong. The times that we are held in His arms is when we take time to be in His presence and be at peace, be still. So today I just want to encourage you to not be afraid. Don't be discouraged because we have a Father who loves us and who will be with us to the very end. So now I'm going to pray for us. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you and I just praise you. So many times in my life, Father, you have held my hand through storms, through trials, through loss, through heartache, through it all. You have been my God and my Father. And I am just forever grateful. And I just ask you to be with all those who are hurting this week, Father, who are afraid, who are struggling. Just comfort them, love them, hold them in your mighty, righteous right hand. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thanks. Thanks.